of emission too, I'm guessing. I just won't ask. <laughs> you can ask him. It's fine. I'll, I can give you at least some kind of generic advice. Ah, oh, distance, yeah. Okay. <coughs> so on 16, um, ah, yeah. Can I like explain my reasoning if you tell me if I'm great here now? Or? Yeah, go for it. Well, I, why, don't get lost. That's, that's what to do. <laughs> well, I thought that if I plugged the base point back in, then it would work. Oh, just, direction. well, but, 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 I like your idea. It's, it's good. It's good. So you're like, this is one line. This is the other line, right? Yeah. They're both in the plane, right? So here's V1, and here's V2, your direction vectors that you said. So you're like, I'm going to form the normal as V1 cross V2. Great. Love it then you just need a point on the plane. There's an embarrassment of riches here. There's so many points you could pick. You got, you got, you could pick one, two, three. You could pick four, zero, zero. You could pick, I put in T equals to 10. It gives me 41, 52, 63. 40, 51, 60, uh, 40, 52, 63 is another point on the plane. Any T you put is on the plane. You can pick the mean of those two <laughs> What's that? I have to plug a T in. You have to pick a point on the... T equals zero. You just... Yeah. You, you need some point on the plane. It doesn't matter which one. I'm, what I was saying is I plugged one, two, three in, and then I got a number, and then I just did four, zero, zero. Let us, check it. Let us say that... If you, if you don't mind, let me say that this works out to ABC just for the sake of discussion, all right? Okay. Then your equation would be A times X minus 1 plus B times Y minus 2 plus c times z minus 3, because 1, 2, 3 is a point on the plane. You found the normal vector. We go back to our equation for a normal and a given point on the plane. That's it. The funny thing is that this is the same equation, all right? And this is the messed up thing. It seems counterintuitive. It seems like, doesn't it matter which point I pick is what you're like, it's, that's messing with your head, right? Like, like, why 1, 2, 3? Why not? Four zero zero. Do those give different equations? So what here you've got is basically minus four a. So your your d quote unquote. So we can always go back to a ax plus by plus cz equals to d format. All right. So like d is four a, right? But on this one, I'm going to get minus a um, minus two b minus 3c, um, so that will be my, that, that equals to, uh, to um, get rid of the minuses, actually. So 4a would be d, and a plus 2b plus 3c would also be d. What'd you get for abc? Uh, don't tell me, I don't want to ruin it for everybody else. But you take your abc, if you did it right, you should find that a plus 2b plus 3c is equal to 4 times a for your normal vector? Okay. Is that true? My point is that if you, if you have A, B, and C correct, yeah. these should actually be the same equation. Optimus Prime is a sword-wielding robot. Optimus Prime, same robot though. <laughs> robot in disguise. Robot in the open. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we talked a lot about Transformers lately. Is, okay. I'm, I, I'm, I, this is a bad conversation to have without saying what A, B, and C are. I know. Ah, I should stop. <laughs> yeah, we should just say it. <laughs> uh, let's not do that. Let's not do that. <laughs> The reason I don't want to say that is twofold. One, if she has the right answer, I don't want to share it with everybody. Two, if she has the wrong answer, I don't want to share it with everybody. So. D distance. I haven't really talked about distance, but the idea there is, just goes back to like, so if like for a plane, you want to find the distance to a plane, what's it defined to be? How 
How would you find the distance? Which point on the plane, though? There's lots of points, right? So what do we mean by distance to an extended object? What's the definition? Shortest distance, right? Right. So imagine that you've got a point P on the line, like this one, right? You're given this point Q. How do you find, how do you find that point? What do you do? Here's what I would do. I, I would use this vector the PQ vector, right? And I just need the direction vector of this line. So suppose the direction vector of the line is V, right? Then all I got to do is calculate the projection into the V direction of the PQ vector. And what's that give me? That gives me another vector. Let's call it uh, C or whatever. I mean, you give it whatever name you want. I'm going to call it C vector for a second here. That C vector is like this, right? So this point right here is what? That point is P plus the C vector. That gives me the closest point. The reason that that's legitimate is because this is a right angle. So like this distance squared plus that distance squared gives me the length of PQ squared. And basically the way to make that smallest is to slide the point P over to here. Anyway, I'm not going to derive that, but some other day perhaps. This is how I would find the point C. There are other ways, but... So the, the distance is the closest point. Like the x-axis is much easier, right? So if you take the point 1, 2, 3, here's the x-axis, right? Here's the point 1, 2, 3. What's the closest point from 1, 2, 3 on the x-axis? So it's, it's th that point. So it's 1, 0, 0. I think so, because any... Any point other than that on the x-axis, like this one, what happens? You get this, and you get... So the, <laughs> I'm, let, me, let me draw the point 1, 2, 3 as if it's down here. It's helpful to me. Um, so like this and this are actually perpendicular, so that distance squared plus that distance squared is the distance to the point out here. To make the distance from the x-axis to that point smallest as possible, you want to eliminate the red line which is to say that you want to make um, the point one zero zero. That's the closest point. I mean, I'm not saying it a very convincing way. Let me shut up. Um, anyway, other, other questions before I just yammer on here? So for C, that would be the same thing. You just treat the two points and project P onto those two points. Oh, part A was easier, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm an idiot. That's the point, the distance from point P to point Q. Well, I think that one I can do. <laughs> Duh. So I'm actually talking about C here, right? So this, we, this, this is the line, the two points on the line I'm imagining you could picture there somewhere, right? So here's the point. Um, this is point, let's say, 1, 10, 3. And there's some other point. I don't know where they are exactly, but they're, it's somewhere. What, what do those two points allow you to do, though? You've got, if you've got two points on the line, you take their difference. That gives you a direction vector on the line, right? So you've got to watch out for minus signs. You could get things like flipped around. So be, be aware of there could be a plus minus issue in here. My picture's off. Yep. I'm not convinced. So it's the, line, the whole line, not the line second line. Yeah, it's the whole line. I mean, it, this is a line in three-dimensional space. To find, to find the closest point, you'd have to find the, the, like, the normal plane to the line. Um, so like that, that line takes a particular plane as its normal line. A normal line is just a line that has the direction of the normal vector to the plane. So like there's a normal plane. If you could find the normal plane along the line in which 
the point um, P is, is in. So like here's the line, here's the point P, right? So if you could find the plane, which also contains P and has the normal line, then that intersection of that plane with the normal line would be the point you're wanting. But I don't know how to find the plane equation without knowing the, I don't know. This is a way to do it though. You just have to find the projection of the point onto the line. That projection gives you the perpendicular distance indirectly here. There are examples like this in the notes. Um, we should talk about that for a second here. What's your... Uh, come on. Hey. I forgot to guys, tell you guys to take your, take your drama mean here before, before class. I, I, there's got to be one in here somewhere. I just don't know where it is right offhand. Do you guys know about the problems at the end of the chapter, right? Um, solutions to these are posted, right? Do you guys know that? I didn't see any solutions for these. Not in course content. No, on your website. You really? I have solutions for these problems posted, I'm pretty sure. Let's see here. Ah. Where are they though? Um, I may not have internet at the moment. What was your question while I'm looking for this? Was it Michael? That's not really what that means, but, you know. I don't know what it meant. You're probably right. However, for some reason, you can take a computer, put it in an mode, and then tell it to be flat by I don't know what the point of that is. So what was your question, Michael? I was wondering if 24 was doable. Right. Um, so, oh, yeah. One of the things, so we, we had a formula for um, parametrizing a line with two points. Do you guys know there's a, there's a similar trick if I have a plane, right? If I have a plane and I've got a point P, a point Q, a point R, right? I can make this be basically be u equals v equals zero. I can make this be u equals one, v equals zero. And I can make this guy be where u is equal to zero and v equals to one. The formula for this is just the following. x of u comma v equals to p, all right? Plus um, u minus um, u minus one times something plus v minus one times something what should I put in there? So think about it. I want this to be, oh, I'm sorry, I should say 1 minus u, right? Oh, I'm an idiot. Just u. Yeah, uh, u times uh, r minus p plus v. U, u times, you said r minus p, which I would call pr. Right. And, um, plus v times, but which is of course r minus p. Um, v times geometrically pq, yeah? pq of course is q minus p. So if you look at that formula, when you put in u equals to one and v equals to zero, p's cancel, you get r. When you put in u equal to zero and v equals to one, the p's cancel, you just get q. So this is a parameterization of the plane with these three points. Simple as that. 
that is a much easier way to get it than you might think of otherwise. My hope of ending class two minutes early seems to be vanishing before our eyes. Um, so, Michael, the problem 24, you actually have to think about the parameterization of the, par the parallelogram out here, and it's going to have shadows onto the coordinate planes back here. And the question is, how do the areas of the shadows relate to the area of the plane itself? This is a challenging question compared to some of the other ones in the homework. So, but it's interesting. The answer is interesting. So I don't want to ruin it. But. Getting back to the question of where the homework is po the homework from the end of the chapter is posted, it's on the website multivariate calculus page here. And if you go down right here, right here, problems. Where were we? I forget which one we're at, but right there. It's right there. We're not there yet, though. We're like back here, I think. So, so those problems do have solutions posted. They're right here. Which may or may not be helpful to you, but there they are. I shut up. So, again, one more day to do the homework. And, um, We'll talk about calculus tomorrow. Woo.